Hey so friends, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl CC. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and you are looking forward to the weekend. It's the holiday season. Thanksgiving is right around the corner and I am so looking forward to turkey, mashed potato and gravy, mac and cheese, collard greens, you know, all the good stuff. Looking forward to that. And of course, Christmas is such, oh my God, I cannot believe we're almost towards the end of the year. But anyways, if you were new to my channel, hi, hello, glad to have you on board. While you're there, go ahead and click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on my next videos. So what I wanna share with you guys, a few signs that you are manifesting your dreams. Listen, I know how frustrated it can be when you feel like you're just waiting and waiting for your manifestation efforts to pay off, right? The number one sign that I wanna tell you is that you feel at ease about your dreams. Dreams are so important and they are so awesome. And if you don't already do this, then I'm telling you right now, you need to keep a dream journal. I keep my journal right by my head. Like if I happen to have a dream, I would write down the date, the time, what happened in the dream. And that way I can go back to it and see if this really happened. When your manifestation is closed, you begin to have dreams that show you that you already have it. So keep a journal and make sure you write things down. And I tell my girls that all the time, whenever you have a dream, write it down. Cause you never know, God could be talking to you in your dream. It's sending you a signal. You gotta make sure you keep a record of it. So the second thing I wanna say is that you start to notice more of what you want. You begin to feel you are experiencing a tons of coincidences. Let's say it's a new car and you start to notice that make and the model of that car everywhere. Every time you turn around, oh wait a minute I just saw the car this is it this is another one and you're like this had to be a coincidence and it's not it's a sign from yourself to you because it happened to me so many times like let's say if I want to drive an Audi Q7 and every time I would go around I would see the car I would go to the store I would park I would, you know, go from a different location I would see the car and I'm like babe this is just weird I just saw this Audi Q7 a few minutes ago, and then now I'm seeing it again. Girl, let me tell you, pay attention. It's a sign from yourself to you that's telling you it's close. So the third sign is that other people. So what I mean about other people, the universe begins to send you messages through people around you, okay? Maybe you've been thinking about starting a business or going back to school, and the next thing you know, you start having a conversation with a friend or a family member and all of a sudden they're like, well, you know, I've been thinking about you should go back to school and, and you know, get a degree in this or, you know, I've been thinking about you should be the guest speaker at this woman convention and you're like, I'm just thinking about that. How did you know? You know what I mean? Has this ever happened to you guys? Were you like, okay, I was just thinking about going back to school or I've been thinking about going for the convention or whatever it is. To you, it's like a coincidence and it's not. It's just a sign. It's a sign that people around you can feel it, okay? The fourth sign is synchronicity. What I mean by synchronicity is that when most people want to dismiss as a coincidence, I know my husband is like so perfect at that. To him, it's like, oh, it's just a coincidence, baby. And I'm like, no, it's not. When you manifest things, synchronicity happens every day in so many ways. When your manifestation is about to pop up, you may see a certain number all the time. It's like you start seeing 111, 222, 333, or 666, 444. Yes, these numbers are good numbers it could be a certain event about to happen like earlier while i was working out and i was saying a few things to myself i was speaking out loud you know while i was exercising and then i look at my watch what time it was it was two 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 and i'm like oh this is exactly what i'm talking about it's like my whatever that i was manifesting while i was exercising it's actually going to happen and i truly believe when you can feel it in your heart it's definitely a sign that it's on its way, it's coming. The last one, which is the fifth sign to me, is that you start having these moments of deja vu. You know, you start having this, you begin to get a sense of having 
um, being where you are before. Okay, this is like one of the best way that yourself shows you what you want is done. It's already done, it's a done deal. So you just feel some sense of expectations and joy because you know it's coming. You get excited and not and not really have a tangible reason for why you feel that way. You just have a sense something awesome is coming and you just can feel it. Your energy level just changed. You start dancing and jumping because your energy level is just shift to a different energy. So it's a message from your soul to you. And, and it's just feeling, feeling is the soul language. To me, I just love when I feel something and I, and I always tell my husband, you know, your, my soul is talking to me. My soul like what I just heard, especially if it's something that TD Jixi just preached or something that I just listened on the radio or it's either um, a song or whatever it is, my soul is happy. And also your mindset, okay? Your mindset begins to shift. People are dropping out of your life. You might wonder why. You might wonder, wait a minute, why haven't I seen this girl in a while? Why haven't I talked to this person in a while? Either they might move out of town or they no longer keep in touch or whatever it is. Since everything is vibrating and the law of attraction brings vibrations together, so anyone who is not in alignment with the new you will basically fall out. Point blank, that just bottom line is how it is because you don't have much interest in them anymore. So this is when you begin to lose interest in things or certain conversations don't really don't matter to you. You're just like, oh, okay, so you start vibing at a frequency if they cannot match you. So they just fade away. That's just life. You just move on. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm sure you guys heard that there's a saying that say misery loves company. So it really does. If you're having low vibrations, so you'll have low vibration people around you. So, but if you're having high vibrations, so you basically will attract high vibration people around you. I truly feel like it's the same way with money. If you aren't vibrating at a positive money vibe, then you won't have a lot of money in your life. But if you are, you'll definitely have an abundance of money in your life. So pay attention to these signs and I'm pretty sure there's tons of other ones out there, but those are the ones that I have been experiencing and that's why I really wanted to share the signs with you guys because they're important because you never know the things that you prayed about. You never know the things that, um, that are coming your way. So you gotta pay close attention. Oops. So when you start seeing certain numbers, Frequently, they're not coincidence. You start seeing 444, it's not a coincidence. And I and I had to look it up for myself because it happened so many times to me where I would see numbers all the time and I would wake up in the middle of the night at the same time for no reason. And all these things are, you know, a connection, a divine connection that's trying to get your attention. And it's so important for you to really pay close attention to these signs because things happen. There's spirit around us. We may not see them, but they see us. They are literally see everything that you do. So you gotta pay close attention. And I know one thing that one of my friends ha had asked me and I told her, listen, if you don't know what to say when you wake up at a certain time, let's say if it's like 3.55 and you just pray. If you feel like, if, if it's like every day you wake up at 3.55 and you're like, okay, that's just weird. I wake up at 3.55 for no reason every single day. Don't think that it's not for a reason. It is for a reason. It could have been something that you had prayed for that's coming something that you had asked God for, that your angel is trying to find a way to signal this to you, to try to find a way to send this message to you. So you gotta pay close attention to these things. And the thing is, if you don't know what to say, just pray and ask God, what is the sign about? Why am I seeing this number all the time? And he would reveal it to you. So all these things are important. We're not just in this planet just because we're here for a purpose for a reason. So our divine connection is trying to find a way to connect with us by sending us these signs, by sending us these messages. So pay attention and you will definitely, definitely see. I know people who actually manifest their dream life and it comes into reality because they believe in it. You can too. 
have your dream life. You can too manifest what you want in life. You just have to believe that you are talking, you are searching, you are looking for what you are praying for, right? So write things down, keep track of a journal. I, I told one of my clients that you gotta make sure you have multiple journals. If you feel like you have a, you running out of a, a dream journal, buy more. You feel like you're running out of a grateful journal, buy more. Cause I keep a journal for every single thing. Grateful journal, dream journal, and everything else. So what are you manifesting? What are you praying about? Whether if you want marriage, if it's um, kids that you manifesting, whatever that it is, you need to be able to keep a journal so that we can go back to these things. I really hope that you pay close attention to this time because again, you never know. So guys, thank you so much for joining me today and I hope to see you next time. Remember, we upload every Wednesdays and Saturdays, all right? My husband and I, we have our Blissology podcast. It's very interesting and I hope that you stay in touch. So I'll see you next time.